Hi, I'm Wendy and I'm the set designer for the theatre show Emile and the Detectives. I'm just going to talk a little bit about the research process that I use when I'm designing my sets. So research for a set designer is important because it keeps things in context. When we look at Emile and the Detectives, it's set between the two major wars, World War I and World War II. There's a sense of difficult times and so that has an influence on, say, the colour palette. There's a sense of darkness to the show. So my inspirations were very strong visual artists. So John Brack, Charles Blackman, Joy Hester were very influential. So one of the very first images that the director and I talked about as a reference was this one, Collins Street, 5pm by John Brack. It answered lots of questions about what Emile was facing when he went to the city, it was this sea of people, then the masses are just faceless. And, and also this colour palette, this muted, there's sort of a solemnness and that's life in the city. These resources I often bring together now by using a, an app that we call Pinterest and it's really helpful because it brings in all those things into one place and the director and I can spend time looking at those things. So here we have an example of a train carriage and what was really outstanding to me was the fact that the windows are rounded. Everything on a train there's a sort of roundness to it and there's a lot of brass and things like that so they're the sorts of details that I could take and bring into my design. When I apply the research to my design, it's a big question about, do I have my own ideas or am I just taking someone else's work? One of my mottos is there's nothing new under the sun. You take something that maybe someone else has done and you can reinterpret that and have your own influence on that. As part of the research, we actually went to the National Railway Museum. And so it was fantastic to be able to get into a train carriage and actually you know, smell and see it all. And what it does is when you see these, it just imbues you with a kind of a mood and a sense. And so it's trying to translate that back onto set. Not all the research that we do ends up in the show, but it's been very, very useful. And it's so amazing that that can then influence the rest of my career as well, that those things will turn up in unusual places when I'm working on another show, that all that research will come back and, and uh, surprise me. Yeah.